Loss without answers leaves emotions on high. Uneasy, horrified, heartbroken. Ariel Hamby's stepsister, Joanna Speaks, was an Oregon mother of three. She was an amazing sister, a wonderful daughter, a, a great, fantastic mother. Speaks was found dead from a homicide in April, becoming one of six different women in the Portland metro area, all under 40, discovered dead within 100 miles of each other just weeks apart, leaving the Pacific Northwest in fear of a possible serial killer. 584 en route to Southeast Dead Road. It starts with 22-year-old Kristen Smith, found February 19th in Southeast Portland. April 8th, Speaks is found on an abandoned property, dead from blunt force trauma to her neck and head. Weeks later, on April 24th, two women's bodies found on the same day. Charity Lynn Perry and an unidentified woman believed to have been Native American, who police say showed no signs of foul play. April 30th, 31-year-old Bridget Webster discovered on a rural road. And just one week later, 22-year-old Ashley Real, last seen on surveillance at a restaurant, found dead in a heavily wooded area. The various police departments and agencies investigating now working together to see if there's a link between cases. What are they specifically looking for to see if they're all connected? One of the main things that they're going to be looking at is the manner of death and the weapon. If that's consistent across all of these victims, that would be a huge point. Portland police tonight pushing against speculation of a serial killer saying, quote, I cannot say we're not looking into it, but we do not want the public to jump to any conclusions. For families left behind with questions, answers can't come soon enough. This isn't just about my sister anymore, even if it's not one person doing this. Marissa Parra, NBC News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.